Well, the, the approval process um, was daunting and long, or at least it appeared daunting. Um, uh, I went out to UCLA, I went out to Los Angeles to visit family, and I went to visit with Charlie Grove, and we thought about doing the study, Tony and I. Tony uh, knew Charlie, and uh, so I really figured I had to meet with Charlie to see if this was possible and how he was able to do it, because it took him a long time to get approval. So we went, uh, I went to Harbor, UCLA, we had like a six hour lunch, and he pretty much laid out what exactly was needed. And the first step was to petition the FDA to get what's called an investigational new drug license, an IND. Mm -hmm. That is the, the very first step. Um, and for Charlie and Roland, that took years. For us, the very first time we applied, you know, you apply and they have to give a response within 30 days. Mm -hmm. And so uh, we actually applied for a higher dose than Charlie, and we really thought this would go on for a while. After 30 days, they granted us the license, just like that. And that was a really remarkable start mm -hmm. to it because I wasn't, we weren't expecting to have such a quick approval, and much of it was because Charlie and Roland and Francisco Moreno had done the groundwork, they had had conversations with FDA, and so they already had been primed, they knew about it, they had gone through the longer process of approval, and I think for us, they, the FDA had um, experience, and, and that was the very beginning. And, and the process really mm -hmm. evolved sort of like that through several phases where mm. Tony can talk about the IRB part of it and the first time we applied the IRB because once you get the IND <coughs> from the FDA, then you have to petition your local institution. Um, and that was about five steps involved there. And there were many hurdles to go through and we did expect barriers along the way the nature of the study, the type of drug we're using, this will be a long process, a lot of resistance and barriers, and we kept getting these green lights, you know, one approval after another. Uh, the IRB is a very important hurdle to get past, it's and, and it's, it's, it's an I, uh, internal review board. Internal review board for the, for the medical school. Institutional review board. But internal uh -huh. for NYU Medical School mm -hmm. and Medical Center. And um, it was, it was let known to us that most studies take a few rounds to get approval. Don't expect it the first time around. Mm -hmm. We'll mm -hmm. review it, get back to you, you'll resubmit. And on the first uh, first application, we got approved. And it was just absolutely incredible. Uh, and uh, to our surprise, to our surprise. And again, laying thanks, I think, to Dr. Grove and Griffith for this found, groundwork. Uh, and our uh, workings within the medical center, just uh, we got that approval.